Hello and welcome to another Space Engineers day of stuff and things are happening. Last episode and the episode before was an episode were episodes full of failure. Today I've made a decision. I've thought long and hard about it, and there's no two ways about this. I need to get resources. And seeing as there's no actual resources on this planet and I have wasted way too many resources on ships that got blown up and wiped out. Um, I think we need to go to space. We need to go to space! I don't know why I did that, but we need to go there to space to, um, you know, collect things. We get many various amounts of resources. I'd like to get quite a fair bit of iron ore, uh, nickel, cobalt, platinum would be great, gold, silver, uh, whatever else we can find. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a sketchy trip because uh, one, we got no suit. That's uh, <laughs> that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, two, we got no suit. Two, I think I got Reavers turned on. I don't know. I think I do. Pretty sure I do. Or at least when I go into space I definitely will because I'll put it on if I don't have it on. Um yeah, so we gotta we gotta have we gotta have uh, weapons. I did put the shield mod back on because I just don't wanna lose everything. I'm so I'm tired of losing everything. Please stop taking all my stuff, game. Please! Turbo, what have you got? Can you stop how did you get that? No, no. Got a um, you got some KFC fries box. Must have grabbed it out of the bin, or I mustn't have thrown it away properly. Either way, um, I forgot what I was doing because I got distracted by the green. So yeah, we got to build a spaceship, a big, big, giant spaceship. It has to go. It, man, so it needs to have weapons on it. it needs to have shields. It's gonna need um. It's gonna need. Oh god! It's gonna need uh, a refinery and assembler on it because uh, I need 200. Not superconductors. Oh, I need 200 superconductors. So I don't think I have enough resources for those. But I also need 400 field emitters, which requires platinum, and I definitely don't have enough of those. Do I have how many? Um, how many of the ions do I have? I can access the inventory from there. Excellent. Let's chair, hide. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we've got plenty of superconductors. Never mind that. Uh, we've got gravities. The gravity is cool. I don't need gravity. I need... Engine? Ion engines? Do I have any ion engines? Small motor? Apparently not. Um... Thruster components, is that what they're called? Oh yeah, so I've got 70. 70 thruster components, that's not enough. So we're going to have to use hydrogen, which means we have to use the ice, which means we need gas collection. Um, how much ice do I have? We should have a fair bit of ice. 600, yeah, we've, we're good for ice. So, yeah. it's going to be a bit of work involved in building this. Now, I want to build, probably, we'll build our launch pad out here. Um, local grid alignment, so let's have a bit of a gap between everything. Alright, this is going to be our launch pad area. Okay, so I've had a complete change of mind about how I want to build this thing. We're going to build it flat on the ground, um, because i got to load vehicles onto it, alright? And that's going to be kind of hard if it's a vertical ship. And I'm not interested in making my life any harder than I need to at this point. So we're going to start with maybe... Yeah, we'll just we'll make it... So this will be the bottom layer of the ship here, right? So we'll go like that. That's going to be the bottom of the ship. Alright. It's going to be a pretty long ship. That's fine because it needs actually a fair bit of room. Alright, and then we're going to have... Okay, let's go with hydrogen engines because that's what we're going to have to use. Um, can I flip you around? 
So we'll have like one large hydrogen engine there for the go go. Alright. That should be enough to go. And then we're going to need hydrogen tanks. Um, do we have fancy tanks? What kind of fancy tanks do we have that's just small? No, we want large. They're kind of cool. Um, anyway. <laughs> okay, so. That means we're going to have the tanks there. We're going to have this going to be sealed off. Like that. And then we'll probably have... Do I have any... I do, okay, I swear we can do this. I can have a conveyor junction. Like... So, should we just go with these ones? No, let's just go with this one first. Okay, because we'll have a conveyor junction there. We'll come out. We have pipes. Because I'd prefer the pipes. I like the way that the pipes look. I think they are a bit the better of the two. I do have merge tunnels though, don't I? I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure that out later. Um, so we'll go like that. And then... I think maybe... Should we go like that? And then like that. And then we'll use these modded ones. Like that. Three high tank. So, on that side, and we'll have another three high tank on the other side. Do we think that'll work? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Um, well, we won't know until we actually. I can't grind that down. I place that. You gotta be, that's the one downside to placing things with a ship like this is uh, removing blocks is not exactly a thing you can do. <laughs> So you gotta be careful where you place things. Alright, so we're gonna place that like that. We'll have another set of hydrogen tanks here. Yeah, got that, sure, why not? I don't know how much is in these tanks. I've never actually I don't remember actually ever using them before. Um, it'll be interesting to find out. <laughs> right, so we'll have that there. And then uh, probably we should have some H2 generators. Um, let's see, we'll put, put them, like, should we put two in there, like that, just two H2O generators, I think that should be fine, that should be enough, okay, that'll go well like that, but then we're going to also need side thrusters, aren't we, um, that requires me to have the outside of this done. I kind of feel like I should have done this in creative mode, I'm not going to lie. Um, in another world, probably should have. That probably would have been the better of the two options. Mm. Okay, let me have a look. I, I, know, I have an idea roughly in my head how I want the the the, um, the, the re thrusters here to look. So we'll have that one big one there. Hmm. Well, maybe... Okay, maybe what I sh can do, um, ouch, if we get rid of, I can't get rid of it, okay, maybe we can, what I'm trying to do is maybe have, um, two large thrusters, alright, alright, so we'd have, um, I need the actual conveyor junction again. Just because I prefer to have the solid ones on the outside, we go like that. There we go. Hydro thrusters. Uh, we'll just place those from the out. Boom. Can I? Um, there we go. One there. And one there. I think that'll look pretty good. And now, what I kind of want to do is we're gonna. Just we'll put that there like so. Then maybe what I can do is I can go like this, like that, and then we can get the panel plates. Alright, alright, you see what I'm doing here? We can do something like um 
So we just have it like that. Yeah, I think that'll look good. I just want something to like kind of protect it from the sides a little. Yeah, I'm actually kind of liking. Yeah, I think that I think that'll actually look pretty good when it's all welded up and nice and done. Yeah, that'll work. I think that'll work well. Yeah, and we'll have one on the other side as well. I think that'll look good. Okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Things are things are happening. Things are getting done. All right. So what I'm probably going to do now is I'm probably going to time lapse the rest of this build because I get the feeling this is going to take me quite a while. Um, judging by the fact that all I have done is a one of the many necessary and required thruster assemblies. So enjoy. Okay, so no, 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 no thing, uh, time lapse thing. I, I, I've been sick for the last few days <clears throat> and um, I just kind of, I've gone into creative mode in a, in a separate save and I just kind of built the ship like this. This is what I've done. I, I, I just, yeah, I, I was sick and I couldn't be bothered doing anything. So <laughs> I just kind of built this in my, in, delu in my delusional state. So this is going to be our little space exploration going into space to get actual resources type ship. It should work. Yeah, theoretically, I think it would have enough thrust. It would definitely get off the planet. Um, I'm sure it's going to be able to do that. It should have plenty of thrusters there. Uh, eventually, I want to like put more um, ion thrusters hidden inside here as well. If I put the torch on, there we go. So I can hide some ion thrusters up in here. Um, I think we'll expand the sides here in the future as well. We'll put ion thrusters out on the side here. Uh, on these little hangar bays that I have attached to the side. <coughs> um, yeah, we'll have iron thrusters there, then we'll move this out, this little protective thing that I've been doing like on every single ship I've been building lately, even in the, even in my little world that I've been playing by myself for fun. Um, yeah, like uh, I'll probably move that out there, it'll, it'll look good. Uh, I'm actually kind of, I actually like this ship. I think it does kind of, it's kind of cool. So. Let's have a quick look on the interior of it. So we've got like a little ramp that goes to the end of the ground. Then we've got our little airlock. Lots of airlocks in this ship because remember, this is a no suit survival. I should probably do something with this section. I don't know. Um, it's like a no suit survival thing. So I've got to have ways to. <coughs> Sorry, I'd have the ship is going to be secured and air con air -conned? Yeah, whatever. But here's the bridge. Um, it's kind of cool. I like. I mean, trying to go over like a different build where I usually put the bridge at the top of the ships. I'm trying to kind of put them on the bottom of the ships now. I kind of like this uh, glass view type thing. It would also make it easier to land on planets and things like that. But that's my theory. Captain's quarters, uh, captain's office over here. Um, it's a shield thing. Uh, what else have we got? We got quite a few things. Let's go upstairs. So up here, we just got some random space that I had that I threw in crew quarters and I threw in the captain's quarters over here yeah it's all cool then on the other side of this little bit here we got the the uh, mess hall I guess you'd call it I needed a place to put a food proce processor or a sequencer um, just so we could you know live because we have food as you can see I'm currently 100% thirsty and 100% hungry thank god for uh, admin mode a little shower where you can shower and stare into space not at all privacy concerns there you know, it's space. What's the chances somebody's going to see you? Um, yeah, having a shower. You know, what's that? Explosive shipment. Well, oh, I wish I was... Yeah, anyway. So yeah, we got like a survival kit. That's pretty cool. We got this face. I like this face. This is there like... In the future, our little airlocks. We're going to use like this... Uh, I love this connector. Uh, Zardos, I think, made it. But it's got like a little shield on it. You can sort of see there, the blue. It, so it's airtight. So if you connect up to another one of these, if we can connect and walk through it, and theoretically, uh, we shouldn't die from oxygen, uh, loss of oxygen, theoretically. Also, the gravity just happens to end, like, right there, that was just a pure fluke, that was, yeah, I just, I like that, because, like, that means, like, you can kind of, like, just, like, kind of, like, float in like this, and theoretically, oh, that was too high, <laughs> too low. 
But then boom, and then you just... Okay, well that didn't work. Why... Whatever. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, she just dropped. Uh, that was my theory. I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. Um, yeah, got a bunch of batteries on this side, a refinery there, which is kind of sticking out the side of the ship. Got assemblers over here, timer block there. Why is there a timer block there? I don't know why there's a timer block there. I'm going to guess that there's a timer block there because when I placed these things down, I was still in mirror mode. Maybe? Probably? More than likely? Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, we got a cargo in here, there's like gyros all hidden there. And there's gyros hidden. Is there gyros on this side? There's no gyros on that side. There's just a hole. Why? I guess I didn't use mirror mode for that part. I don't know. <laughs> there's there's a gap back there. It's like a smuggler's area, I guess. Get our little hydrogen tanks. Uh, hey. So at this point, the video recording, for some reason, f glitched. It's broken. So now we get to move on to the next part. Um, my bad. Well, no, not my bad. So this is uh, this is where I finally gave up on trying to build it and weld it up and have a look at it as I was going because I was getting sick and tired. But um, yeah, don't mind this. Totally not another destroyed welding ship. That's fine. It's, it, there's nothing to see there. Nothing to see at all. That's no evidence. I said no evidence. I said no evidence. My oh, inventory is full. That was a mistake. Anyway, so yeah, we got this ship. Okay, so we got this ship. Uh, here, this is what I was designing. Um, it's more or less the same with a few differences. For example, this doesn't exist anymore. I, I was never a big fan of this. I don't know what I was thinking with this. Um, but we got our hangers on the side here now. The thing is, um, we got to get rid of this. <laughs> so, as much as I love this and I've designed it very well, it's got to go. So, what I'm thinking is. Uh, a third printing system because technically there's a printer system in there for small ships we've got this one here which I was kind of using to build the gunship and then we got this one here um well this will be this one will be here this will be a third one now the good thing about having the ship already here is I can kind of just build around this and uh, design it from that so basically what I'm thinking is oh actually there was so this should probably have about that big. It should probably come out about... I didn't want that there. That's not at all what I wanted. Stop fighting with me. I'm not in a fighting with game mode. No, mode? Mood. Mood. Mood is the word I was looking for. Probably go out about that far. So that's like what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 away. Wow, it's going to be a big building. Um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Okay, boom. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, so I'm still a bit sick, alright? So my brain is not working, so I'm having to like triple check everything. So it's gonna have to have a room this big. Alright, so. I was trying to think, how do I want this? It's gonna be that big. It's gonna have to be a ten high. Do I want. A printer goes vertical or horizontal. Hmm. So I'm thinking this is basically going to become like a large hangar bay with a printer in it. So I'm thinking we're going to have to come out this far, um, out to about like roughly here or something like that. Oh, because I got the antennas on it too. I've got to remember that. The antennas are a thing. Uh, so, well, that's the front of the ship. Antennas, what, four blocks? So, we've got to go like six. Two, three, four, five, six at least. And then the wall. Alright. Like that. That's just going to be the bay. I'm just trying to think the printer. So, if I have a. I can build a piston printer system that pushes it out. And then pulls it all the way back. Man, that is going to be a lot of work. The irony of me building this ship is I need to get resources. But I'm thinking about I'm going to have to spend... thinking I'm going to have to spend a crap ton of resources in order to build the ship to get the resources. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... Hmm. 
Yeah. All right. Let me have a think. So uh, this is the monstrosity that I have come up with. Um. Yeah. It's all grinders at the moment because I got to grind this <laughs> down. Oh, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Um. Yeah. Ignore the crashed placer. That's fine. I I, I haven't had a really bad run of luck of ships lately. All right. It's not like that's crashed. That's crashed. There was another one of that that's completely gone. <laughs> I've got, I had three of these. I got, I'm down to one. It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. It's part of the plan. All right. So now what I've got to do is I've got to world all of this up. And I'm hoping ever so much that it won't explode and cause all kinds of clang. Now, it is very possible that this will be a clang monstrosity simply because... Um, it's a bunch of pistons with conveyor tubes connected to grinders, which is going to grind down a ship. And oh my god, this this is a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Um, yeah. Especially with my run of luck lately, I probably shouldn't be trying something as uh, crazy as this. But hey, you know what? You gotta. Risk it for the biscuit, so they say. Oh god, this is... I am not confident in this at all. I wish I wish I used welders. If this was welders, I don't have to weld up like the one... Um, one at the front and then just turn it on and it would weld the rest up for me automatically. I, I love that about the welders. The welders are amazing in that regard. But, unfortunately, that is not the situation. These are grinders and we've got to grind them all up. And hopefully, hopefully the world doesn't go kaput. I did put... Um, armor blocks in between each of the welders and that, as you can see here, uh, kind of welding up. Uh, the reason I did that was because eventually I got to come through and I've got to grind the welder out and then replace the welder with no, not grind the welder, grind the grinder out and replace the grinder with the welder. Ooh. And um, I didn't want the whole thing just falling apart on me because I got a sneaky suspicion that's going to actually be a thing that occurs, and I just realized also. I should probably put just a row of armor blocks on the back here attached to that piston head that's attached to the grinders so that when I grind that middle um, piston off, the grinder off, it doesn't just uh, have the whole thing collapse and fall in on myself. Do I have... I don't have any armor plates on me. Okay, so I better get to work doing that. So we're just going to weld all this up and once that's done, um, I guess we can grind down the ship. Hopefully this is long enough to make it. Um, I did the math. It should be about seven pistons long. Fully extended. I don't know if the way that I've got these set up if it's going to make a difference, but we'll see. We'll see. With the large wall of death complete, I think it's time to um, give this a go. See how she goes. Okay, so... No control panels or anything to do this properly, but it's fine. It's all fine. It's okay. All right, so let's go here. I do have it all kind of set up. Large welders. Okay, let's just turn. Uh, you're not welders. You're grinders, aren't you? Um. I don't know. Maybe I don't. There we go. Boom. Large grinders. Turn you on. All right. Then let's go with large welder pistons. Let's click reverse and let's see how this is gonna go Oop, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons okay so let's have a look hopefully this works oh no I think it's moving a bit fast because there's so many of them it's fine it's fine
Okay, well I should have seen this coming. Uh, because of the way I've got the conveyor tubes looping around to make this a bit more compact instead of going out like 50 bloody meters, um, it's shortened the length of the pistons, which I kind of... I, I've, I've done this before in the past and I've come across the same issue. I know how to fix it. It's not overly difficult. What I've got to do to fix it is... I say it's not overly difficult, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt. What I've got to do is merge blocks. It's a, it involves merge blocks. So basically... Man, this sucks. So basically what I've got to do is... I've got to... Uh, put a merge block... I got Okay, so I've got to put like a merge block on here and a merge block... Yes, yeah, so I put a merge block on this front piston here. And then I got to reroute... So I've got to get rid of this piston, so this one's going to come out again and loop back around. And then we've got to come back to here eventually and then we'll put a merge block on the end of this piston and then we push it forward and we connect these two. It, it really is um, a complicated pain in the butt <laughs> in order to fix, but it is easily fixable. So the first thing that I need to do actually is I need to get... A way to hold this in place while I disconnect it because it has to be disconnected. Man. There's no way around it, and that sucks. And I kind of want to disconnect it that far out so I've got room to maneuver. So, what I need is I need a landing gear. Alright, um, yeah, I need the stuff for that, and just give me a bunch of armor blocks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the landing gear to the side here. Um, I should also probably just the control panel uh, grind. No, G E grinders. There we go. Just I'm gonna turn you all off for now, just so I don't run the risk of stabbing myself or grinding myself or anything like that. All right, so I'm just gonna put that like that, and then I'm just gonna go boom, boom, boom like that, and there we go. I think it's already locked, but we're gonna weld it up just for safety's sake. Can I get? No, nope, I don't want to. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Smokey. No need to get mad about all your plans not working. Okay, so we do that. Now I gotta do is I gotta get up on top of there and I gotta disconnect these pistons. So can we land up here? Fuel oh. critical. <clears throat> that's my only fucking that's the only ship I have too, that's not good. Um, that was, hmm, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't, um, hmm. Um, alright, alright, alright. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Um, yeah, let's just, okay, I'm gonna have to make a spiral staircase. Arrgh! Okay, so we made it back up to the top here. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, so what was I trying to do? I don't actually remember. All right, so I connected that. All right, so we need a merge block. Just we'll pop this down on this guy right now. Um, okay, just so you're done. Bam. All right, then in the future we can come and place a merge block on this one. And then it sh wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yep. Yeah. Okay, so theoretically, and I do stress this, theoretically, this should be fine. Okay, three. Okay, it appears to be fine. Alrighty, okay. Well, we can get back in our ship and get this over here now. I, I really don't like playing with pistons. I'm always, I know the pistons are a lot more safer now to use than they were back in the day, but the old clang days are not completely behind us and uh, it, it always it, it, it scares me okay it, it, it just scares me all right so well, large water pistons there we go uh let's just reverse you excellent 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 okay let's go here also large water pistons uh, let's just go here. Let's just go add piston head because you need one and I gotta weld that back up All right, so Now that we got that mostly out of the way. Can I place? Um, this block on There control G 
Um, I've got a Okay, it's not on my hotbar, but I'm placing it, so that's fine by me. Alright, so. Oh, well, I can't place it right now. <laughs> it's fine, it's all fine, it's all fine. It doesn't matter anyway. So, what I want to do is we need to add probably another. Hmm, let's see. So we got about, I think it was like seven pistons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, yeah, so there was seven pistons to get this far. So I'm thinking we need to add one, two, three, four, another four or five, five pistons maybe, and that should be okie dokie, theoretically. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of these and then redesign everything. So. I'm gonna get to work doing that. Theoretically, it should be ready to go. I was gonna wait till daytime to do it, but I'm growing impatient. I need it. I need to see how it works. Plus, I think days are set to like an hour long each. Oh, I totally didn't crash another placer. <laughs> I'm not down to zero places. Totally didn't do that. It wasn't me at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop accusing me of things I obviously had nothing to do with. Okay, so, um, let's try this, um, I don't want to be down here, hopefully this works, I am hoping that it works, so first off, I did put them all in a group again, however, I just gotta fix that so they all move at that slow speed, alright, let's reverse these, hopefully it all works, there's the little merge block, it is on the right piece, that's awesome, okay, Hopefully this works. It might flip out because of the landing gear when it merges. But everything appears to be snaking its way quite nicely. Alright. Okay. A moment of truth is coming up. Let's see. This should work. This has worked in the past, so I don't see why it wouldn't work again. Um, I don't know what you took. Okay. Boom. That has worked. Excellent. Alright. Let's go over here. Let's go with grinders. I need all of your grinders. Thank you. Turn you on, even though it sounds like you're already on. And then let's get rid of this. Okay. Let's see how this goes this time. There is a. It is having a bit of problems with some of the the pipes. Ironically, um, they fit perfectly in the gaps between the welders, so I've I've had to grind them down myself a few times. But so far, everything appears to be working quite well. Just throwing a little bits of few, few bits and bobs on the ground, but you know, there's nothing to worry about. Alright, are you going to make it all the way? That is the main... You might not make it all the way. It might, still might not be enough. I think it might, I think it might be a little bit short again. I think you still, you're not, no, no. You're not, you're not going to be short. Yeah, great. You're going to be perfect. You're not going to be short. You're going to be the perfect length, and everything is going to be fine. All right. Well, you're just you're pushing off. On the plus side, you you're a bit bigger than the. No, you're going too far. Excuse me. That's too far. You went too far. You're one block too many. <laughs> but it's fine. That's all fine. We have learnt that it is a sort of mostly success. That is excellent. Now all I'm going to do is replace these all with welders. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, but, you know, it's just going to be a tedious thing. But it, it's fine. It's fine. Those welders are... Okay, I don't want welders. I want grinders, don't I? Yeah. Okay, all your grinders, you can go away now. Boom. Excellent. Okay. And then, go here. Here we go. Where is the world of pistons? World of pistons. Reverse. No other pistons anywhere. Nope. Okay. Excellent. Well, that was a resounding success. Now to replace all of those with welders. I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be a bit of a tedious process, but it, it'll be fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's fine. The good thing about it is I only have to weld up one of them, and then once that one, the main one, is welded up. It'll weld up everything else, um, but yeah, 
So I'm going to get all that done and then uh, we'll, we'll print the new ship. If we have enough resources. I honestly don't know. I've got to be running low. I should probably check on that. Well, after some tedious time and effort, I've managed to replace all of the weld grinders with welders. Now, what i got to do is i just got to find which one of these is the main welder. Ah, there you are. You're the main welder. I just want to... Can I weld this one up, please? No? Why can't I weld it up? I, you should be able to be welded up. I should have a bunch of things in my inventory. What is going on? What is going on? I did smack a wall earlier. Critical. And that like maybe break something? Ah, yep, you're broken. Okay. Okay, so theoretically now we should be able to we should be we should be able to do this, right? Right? It's enough it's enough uh enough loopholes for me. Okay, I don't I think you're welding up a few, but that's fine, just come on. I just want you to ward up this one. I don't really care about the other ones. There we go. That's it. That's all we needed. Because these welders should theoretically Critical. now weld them all, so all themselves up. Alright, let's just go here. We go welders. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm going to guess it's the yellow ones, right? Sure. Turn them on. Bam. Yep, okay. You know what we're going to do though? I'm just going to go welders. And we're just going to grab every single one of them and just turn them all on. Look at that. A nice, beautiful wall of welders. Perfect. Can I get those last little corner ones? Excellent. Excellent. Okay, you're welding up the walls. <laughs> that wasn't my intention, but okay. All right, let's uh, let's just go here. All right, we need to um, large welders. Okay, so you are not being shown on terminal. Good. Large welder pistons. I don't want to see you. Um, okay, so these welders. We're gonna put that into uh, large. So we already got large water, so I don't know what we would call these ones. Large. Uh, let's call it shipyard. Shipyard waters. Um, because it's kind of like a shipyard, I guess. I don't know. I just I need to. I'm trying to get into the habit of naming everything um, as much as possible because. Life is just, it, it gets so complicated when you got so many ships merged on it. Alright, so we got that. Alright, let's try, can I put a control seat down? Uh, just give me a nice simple control seat. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. I haven't got enough computers. That's fine. He, give me that. Also, give me a projector. Gonna need one of those. Okay, let's just put you... Um, where should we put the projector? I think we're going to put the projector right there. So it's kind of out of the way, but also not out of the way. There we go. Okay, there we go. What one are you? You are just called projector. That's probably not going to get annoying. Okay, okay. Projector. Um, we're going to projector shipyard. Okay, let's blueprint this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take a step back for a sec. Um, large shipyard welders, turn you off. I don't want you welding up things. Okay, now let's go. Well, I've really got to sort this. Uh, I got to sort, sort, sort. I have to sort this menu out. Still sick. All right, leave me alone. It's fine. It's fine. My brain is fried and everything is running slow. For example, I forgot what I called the ship. Explorer. SGS Explorer. Okay, this one. Multiple grids. Only largest grid will be used. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. I thought I had a thing that let me do that, but it's fine. All right, let's just go like that. Okay, like this. Go like this. Find the projector again because, you know, 
infinitely long list, blah blah blah. Horizontal note, we're gonna leave you at zero. Because I said I wanna leave you at zero, there we go. I'm gonna bring you just up a little and we wanna move you back a little. Okay, how is that looking? It's looking like it's a bit high. It's fine, we can bring that down. And is it probably bring it down and uh, back a little bit more? Okay, all right. There, okay, that should be fine. And would that do? I don't want it in the ground. I think I should lift it up one. Yeah, we'll lift it up one. Um, uh, vertical minus two because I think I placed it upside down or something. I don't know. I said minus two. There we go. Feel All right, how's vertical. that look? Well, you're not centered, but whatever. All right, so you got to go up one. You're too close to the ground. Yeah, so I got to move you up one and one to the right. God, it's so tedious. Up one and one to the right. Up one and one to the right. Can we remember that? Come on. Guys, I'm going to need you to remind me that it's got to be up one and one to the right. Okay? Shipyard. That's a hate spot. Shipyard. Shipyard projector. Alright. Vertical. Minus three. And then... One to the right. So theoretically... That should be perfect. Okay. Yep, okay, okay, okay. Everything is looking good. Everything is looking good. Alrighty, okay. So, what we're gonna do now is we just got to connect to, let's say, that thing. So, if I connect it to that block there theoretically that should ow should hopefully get everything that I need um excuse me stop being difficult I said stop being difficult why are you being difficult ah, there we go so that should theoretically allow me to weld up everything, hopefully. As long as the pistons move very, 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 very slowly. Also, I just realized I gotta put a bunch of glass in front of this so that we don't get any weird glitching into the welder type nonsense, which shouldn't happen anyway. Uh, yeah, because we're using large grid stuff, so it should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. It, it, it'll be fine. All right, let's move this out of the way and then let's get our weld on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment of truth. Will we have enough resources to build the ship? Will I be able to print all of the ship? Or will blocks be missing? And will this end in disaster? Let's find out. Step one, activate welders. Step two, slowly retract pistons. Hopefully that's moving slow enough. Um, I think it's moving a bit too fast. Large ship water pistons velocity. Let's put you at 0 0.01. Uh, no, let's go 0 0.02 because you're at 0 0.03 at the moment. Okay. Hopefully, this works well.
Well, I would actually call that a success. Um, I ran out of construction components. That is why there's a, there's, a few, there's a few things in there that aren't actually completely welded up, which is a little bit annoying. And even more annoying is that there's plenty of construction components <laughs> inside this welding ship. So if I'd, if I'd done the smart thing and connected it up to the base, um, it would have been completely welded perfectly. I didn't do the smart thing. I didn't connect it up to the base. So it is not completely welded up perfectly, which is that's fine. Um, totally fine. Doesn't mean that I now have to fly around and weld all of these up manually. It's, it, it's fine. It's all fine. Are you done? Okay. I think I may have also been a little bit short on um, uh, uh, computers too, because the cockpits at the front of the ship didn't have any computers, but uh, nothing too major. If I had all the resources I needed, uh, it would have printed out perfectly, and I'm actually quite proud and happy with how this turned out. Like, it's a pretty compact printer. Like, like, it could be made a lot... It could be made to go a lot further out two in the same basically the same uh, space frame like it's only like a 10 by 20 block build it's pretty good I'm quite happy with it but now I'm just gonna quickly finish welding up all of these things I hope that antenna is turned off it should be turned off and then when I come back we can have a look and uh, marvel in all its glory so one sec well, I think I've managed to weld up every little bits and bobs on it. Um, I could actually probably check the projector. I should have done that. And then I'd be able to know for sure. Okay, a shipyard projector. Long interior light corner. Okay, so there's just one thing missing. Fuel, now, I, I am pretty sure all the pipes are up and running. Everything seemed to be connected. I could move things from the interface block next to the... Um, next to the um, the med bay thingy, my Bob, the little survival kit, to the small cargo container in the captain's office, to the large cargo containers at the back here. Um, I suppose what I could do, just to one final check, is I could just go through here. Excuse me. Come up here. Go all the way down the back here. Excuse me. Come through here. Yep. Excuse me. It's fine. Go in here, which I'll start dying. Um, Depressurize off. Uh, 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 no death, no death for me. I don't know why it's so noisy in here. Okay. Low health. Okay, my health is low. I get it. I get it. You don't like it, but I kind of need to access that, the connector in there. So hold on. Let's go here. Control panel. Um, the ba 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 ba. Garage door. Explorer hangar. Right. Yep, it's the right side. Let's open that up. There we go. That should solve that problem of having no oxygen. Okay, go here, let's get cargo. Let's just go to the ship stuff, please. Explore a small cargo container. Yep, okay, so I can put things in there and take it back. So, theoretically that means everything should be all good to go. Also, I'm gonna set you to depressurize. I'm also gonna set the other hangar to depressurize. And the reason I'm gonna do that is that hopefully that will um, fill up the oxygen tanks because the oxygen tanks are empty because it's a brand new ship depressurize on boom okay let's do that let's run past the noisy engineering bay excuse me don't mind me ah much better much more quiet up here okay you are you stockpiling stockpile on okay apparently that doesn't work that way I don't know. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that it would. Um, it should work that way. Maybe it doesn't work that way. Why doesn't it work that way? Huh? On the plus side, I think the entire ship should be fully pressurized now at least. Why is it so dark in here? I've got lights. I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next episode, we got to do some prep to get ready to go into space, i.e. we need to connect the, the thing up to the station, which, speaking of which, before we leave, we've got to disconnect it so it becomes its own separate entity. So, we've got our apparently double landing gear, we're just going to ignore that. Alright, let's go here, 
This is the only bit that should be connecting this to the whole ship. So, yep, the top one. Let's just not. Okay, yep. Grind that down and. There you go. Theoretically, that should be its own separate entity, which just remind me too, I don't actually have. Um, I don't have. A projector on that ship. But yeah, that's something I can deal with later. That's fine. Uh, shipyard projector. Just turn you off for now. There we go. Critical. So you are now officially complete. You have been uh, not launched, but kind of launched, but not really launched. But yeah. Anyway, like I said, next episode we're going to connect up the ship to the rest of the grid, so I can get ice and stuff. I've got about 600,000 ice from that one ship that we salvaged ages ago. So I'm thinking that should be enough. Maybe what we can do is we can build a connector. So we're going to connect to that, right? So, hmm, I don't know. Are we thinking, I'm thinking piston Zardos connector walkway monstrosity thing. Because I haven't got a connector on the outside of this ship. I don't think I have a connector on the outside of this ship. At least not a normal connector. I mean, we could... Well, I could probably put a connector there. I might, I, I, might, I might stick a connector there. And then we can connect from the back. I haven't got that much resources left. Uh, no, I don't think that's true. I think I still got a few hundred... I got a couple hundred thousand iron ingots left. So we've still got millions of all stone over there. But it's not the stone iron that I, it's not the basic resources I need. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling. That's going to be it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, wish me well. I'm sick. I'm hoping I'm getting over it. I'm feeling better. My throat is really sore right now. So I'm going to go relax. Uh, as always, guys, have a good one. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.